वेलकम टू मैथ्स इजी हेलो फ्रेंड्स देयर इज ऑलवेज अ नीड ऑफ हेल्प इन कैलकुलेटिंग और सॉल्विंग मैथमेटिक्स क्वेश्चन ऑन डिफरेंट लेवल्स आई एम हियर फॉर द सेम टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व लीनियर इक्वेशंस एक्सरसाइज 7.1 फॉर क्लास 7 so if you guys want to see the solution of earlier chapter that is integers and fractions you can go by the playlist where all the solution videos are available moreover i have solved many chapters of class 8 maths book of same publication house the chapters are rational numbers exponents square and square roots cube and cube roots playing with numbers linear equations in one variable percentage and its applications algebraic expressions factorization of algebraic expressions quadrilaterals probability surface area and volume and so on so if you want to see the solution you can go through the playlist so let's check it out how to solve question number 2 so question number 2 is given as write an equation for each of the following statements so whatever the statements are given to us we have to make the equation for the same so first statement is given as thrice a number is 48 so first of all we will assume the number b x so thrice of this number x would be 3x so thrice a number is equal to 48 this is our equation hope it is clear if any type of doubt is there feel free to ask your doubt by commenting into the comment box now let's move to the second part second part is two times of a number added to 9 gives 13 so here uh, we will assume the number b y suppose so what is given to us two times of a number so 2 y two times of number means 2 y plus Nine added to nine gives thirteen. This is our equation. Now let's move to the third part. So third part is given to us as six more than one fourth a number is twelve. So first we will assume the number. Let the number be z. So one fourth of a number means one fourth of z, and six more than six more than mean means six added to it is equal to twelve. This is our answer. Or we can write is it as z by four plus six equal to twelve. Both the things are same. Now let's move to the fourth part. Fourth part is given to us. Twice the number subtracted from eighteen gives zero. Let the number be x. So twice the number subtracted from eighteen. So first we will write eighteen minus twice the number that is two x is equal to zero. Now let's move to the fifth part. Fifth part is. One ninth of twice the number is eighteen. So let the number be p. We will assume the number be p. So one ninth of twice the number is equal to eighteen. Or we can write two p. By nine equal to eighteen. This is our answer. Both the things are same. Now let's move to the sixth part. Sixth part is given as sum of twice the number and one fourth the number is eighty one. So sum of twice the number. Let the number be x. Twice the number. And one fourth of that number equal to eighty one. Now let's move to the seventh part. Seventh part is given as eight times a number is sixteen more than eight. So eight times a number 
let the number be x suppose so 8 times of that number means 8x equal to 16 more than 8 this is our answer now 8th part 8th part is 1 by 2 less than twice the number is 3 so let the number be suppose d or c we can say let the number be c so what is given to us 1 by 2 less than twice the number so twice of c minus 1 by 2 equal to what 3 now let's move to the ninth part ninth part is given as 2 more than twice the number is 11 so let the number be x 2 more than twice the twice the number is 2x plus 2 more than equal to 11 this is our answer this is our answer now 10th part 10th part is given as the difference between a number and one third the number is 36 so difference between a number suppose a number be x and one third of x difference means minus is equal to 36 or we can write x minus 3 by x x minus x minus x by 3 equal to what 36 this is our answer let's move to the 11th part so 11th part is Eight less than one fourth a number is one. So eight less one fourth number is suppose one by four x minus eight less than minus eight means equal to one. Now let's move to the twelfth part. Three times uh, three more than three times a number is twenty seven. So let the number be x suppose three more than three times a number. Three x means three times a number. Three more than means three added to it equal to what twenty seven come to the 13th part 13 part is 4 times the sum of a number and 2 is 24 so sir, suppose a number be x so sum of a number 4 times the sum of a number and 2 so sum of a number and 2 is x plus 2 and 4 times 4 times sum of a number and sum of a number and 2 is what 24 so sum of a number and 2 means addition and the fourth times the addition is equal to 24 now let's move to the 14th part 14th part is given as one half of a number is 0 suppose the number be x so one half of x equal to 0 or we can write it as x by 2 equal to 0 this is our answer now come to the 15th part. So 15th part, the age of Mr. Roy is 10 more than 3 times his daughter's age and he is 40 years old. So let the age of Mr. Roy be 10. The age of Mr. Roy is 10 more than 3 times his daughter. So let the age of daughter b x so three times of daughter's age plus 10 equal to 40 this is our answer so it was all about question number two exercise 7.1 chapter linear equations of class 7 so if any type of doubt is there, feel free to ask your doubt by commenting into the comment box. So if you guys like my videos or if it is somewhere helpful to you, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and share the videos as much as possible. Thank you so much.